Barber Show backspin on Sirius XM. My man Do It All from Lords is in the building with me. Yes, yes. And the one and only Pete Rock, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all is backspin on Sirius XM. Finally, with everything going on in New York City today, <laughs> oh it seems like we're gonna have to all do this together, gentlemen. <laughs> all right. How long can how, how long can you stay, dude? I gotta yeah, do it all here. Yeah, we with you here. here. Yeah, I'm here. Okay, cause Pete Rock is good. You know he DJing hey, live man, on the air tonight. Yeah, that's so. that's big bro right there, man. Yeah, like man. I love that dude. So, so I got Pete Rock and Do It All from Lords of the Underground in the building. Welcome, gentlemen. What's we up? Here. What's, What's up, happening? Man? This is a, yo, this is hip hop history going on right here, man. Yeah, yeah. man. So like, how did you how did y'all meet each other, Pete? How did you and oh, do man? Well, it was we we formally made the connection through Marley, but just when we first signed to um Electra, yeah, they were right. they were um Pete right. Rock and CL Smooth, they were our label mates, and our our head of our label, which was Ruben Rodriguez Ruben. at the time, was in their video. Yep. He was like, Yo, I want y'all to come to this set. Yep. And we wasn't even Pendulum. out yet. Pendulum, Pendulum Yeah, man. So, actually, Ruben Rodriguez made the first introduction, but Marley made it family. Yeah. You know okay. I mean? yeah. Okay. And that's when I ended up doing that, the flow on remix. And stuff. Word. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. That's a classic out there on this road, boy. Yeah, oh, yeah? They be like, sing the flow on. Sing the flow on. Word Let's up. Go. <laughs> Pete, when did, when did people start first start asking you to do remixes? What's the first hip-hop remix you can remember doing? Uh, Johnny Gill. Johnny Gill, which one? Uh, really? Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing the running man. Who hit studio. you? Who hit you up for that? Uh, Eddie, me. That's when I was rocking with Untouchables. Eddie F. That was like kind of my first, you know, dealing. Well, actually, the Hev, the Hev Records. Yeah. Okay. Um, Co-producing, but you know, as far as producing, that was until after, you know, after the Heavy D stuff. Movie chill. Wow. Wow. My, my yeah. first real remix was, I think, uh, yeah, Johnny Gill and Basic Black. I was doing R&B joints. Okay. And so your first real remixes was R&B joints yeah, before hip-hop yeah, joints. Yeah. That's crazy. And then that's when I got the PE thing came in, like, 90, end of 91. Okay. We just played that joint, too, yeah. the Shut Em Down Shut remix. Down. But I did Night Train first. Okay. Oh, what? Yeah. All right. So when they when they gave you the uh, the the public enemy joint, right? Yeah. And they said, "Pete Rock remix this." Did they say you could throw a verse on it, or you just no, said, "Fuck it"? No, I did. <laughs> <laughs> I just said, "I'm gonna do one with the rap and one." Without the <laughs> and everybody can have their choice to pick the one with the rap. So, yeah. <laughs> same house of pain and jump around. Oh yeah. Yep. Same way. <laughs> I wish I would have known Yo, shit like that. I was, yeah. really I was just jumping on it because. All right, see, I, I'm going to tell y'all something. When Hit Factory was on 42nd Street, mm -hmm. I was doing three songs at once in three different rooms, all right? I did Jump Around in one room, Down with the King in one, mm -hmm. in another room, and um, House of Pain. Or did I say House of Pain? You yeah, said Jump Around, okay. yeah. House Das Effect, sorry. Oh, Just all three smashes. All doing it all at once in one night. Right. You know what I'm saying? Going from one room to another, making beats and making sure that sound right, then jumping to the next room, say, how we doing in here? Then then the next room. Mm. And then that's how I was doing it. Wow. That's why I was able to keep it, keep keep the consistency right. crazy. Right. Yeah. But that, that has to be hard to try to keep that consistency, right? Do when yeah. you're doing three totally different projects, though. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah. I, I mean, I can understand what he's talking about. And, and I guess, you know, I assume that a lot of the, the hip hop artists and, and producers out there go through the same thing this day. But, you know, when we was out, we was doing the same thing. I remember one time we had to rent a pri private plane just for the day mm. because we was bouncing around to four different uh, states and we had to be in Miami to, to do to meet up with Luke's tour and finish the record to burn rubber on the New Jersey Drive soundtrack. Wow. So we recorded that at a studio that Luke set up for us and it was just crazy. So I know what he's saying because that day stays in my mind how we went from from jet to, to, to the runway, to the jet, to the runway in, in four different states. And we had to wind up in Miami to record for Burn Rubber, the Burn Rubber song for New Jersey Drive soundtrack. Yeah, yeah, so that was working. It's yeah, my favorite man. movie right there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I go that you guys back, was working, I go son. back to that. 
all the yeah. time. You guys was really, really putting in some work, man. Yeah. Phone lines are wide wasn't open. No internet then. No. no. <laughs> nope, was not. Wasn't no Pro Tools, right? Wasn't no, no, wasn't no none Serato, of that. none of that. None of that. <laughs> that was all man hours. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't sitting in one place and waiting for somebody to see you to file, right? Oh, no. A file. A file. Uh, a file for what? Vinyl, <laughs> yeah, right. baby. Vinyl. How the hell did y'all put together Lords of the Underground? <laughs> um, actually, man, shout out to DJ Lord Jazz. <laughs> Lord Jazz is the one who formed Lords in the Underground, and he came by he way made sure of, he put his name in there, didn't he? Oh, yeah, he made sure he put his name. <laughs> Actually, all of us supposed to have Lord in front of our name when we first came out. So oh, yeah? supposed to be Lord Do-It-All, Lord Funk Man, and, you know, then we just, Funky Man, Do-It-All, and DJ Lord Jazz, he the only one that kept the Lord in front of him. <laughs> but, um, I mean, we met at Shaw University, man, years ago. Shout out to Shaw University, man, uh, HBCU, you know, um... And uh, my man Derek L.A. Jackson, who used to manage Coolio, found the roots, and he just did a lot. I think he owns the glue agency right now that's behind all the marketing for um, Nicki Minaj, Pepsi commercials, okay. and uh, nice. Lil Wayne Mountain Dew commercials, and all of that type of stuff. And um, Marley Marl was his cousin, and he went to our school, and he said, yo, Lord Jazz put together a group. I'll be working for Marley after I graduate, and I'll see what I can do. All I can do is play him some joints. And the first record that we recorded, myself and Funk, even though we was from North New Jersey, we were still solo artists, and I knew Funk's brother, Burn B. I didn't really know, I knew of Funk as Turk, but I, I didn't really rock with him that much because right. he was a little younger. And um, we got together, the first song we did together was Psycho, and we uh -huh. did it to, um, to, to um, Black Sheep's, uh, was it Flavor of the Month? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and we did Psycho lyrics to that, and that's how we got our deal with Marley. Oh wow! Words, so Molly yeah. signed y'all. Yeah, Molly signed us first, man. He came out. He was on tour with the Juice Crew, and we was at Shaw University. I had, I had a, I was um just pledging um Alpha Phi Alpha. Shout out to my Alpha Phi. Yeah, Alpha today's brother. Founders Day, right? That's right, today's Founders Day. Right. One nine oh six. <laughs> no, get that in. But um. Uh, I had broke my hand at an alpha fight the night before Marley was coming. And I didn't, you know, I was just one of those cats I didn't believe. L.A. used to talk a lot. You know, Derek used to just da 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 da. But he'd be telling the truth. Derek Jackson. <laughs> yeah, Derek Jackson. <laughs> he'd be telling the truth, but he used to talk a lot. And I didn't believe that Marley was coming. And uh, Marley came, long story short, man, I'm performing up there with a broken hand. Marley put his arms around us and was like, yo, when y'all coming up to the house, it hits. And at this time, I'm talking about the Marley Mall that was producing Heavy D, uh, TLC, yeah. um, Moni Love, um, LL Cool J. Right. The first time we walked into the house, it hits, man. I never forget, I thought we was going to go to Queens or something. And we pull up into the suburbs, upstate New York. And you know it's a B, it's two BMWs in a in a driveway. It's a, it's a red Saab with with rims on it. And the, then the then the then the, the 850 was inside. yeah inside the garage. <laughs> then the garage opened and it's a, a 850 inside. Right. And all I hear we walk through the doors and all I hear is um mm, um uh, 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 just rumbling. Mm, 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 mm. I'm like damn, what is that? Get inside the A room because he had like three rooms in there. Get inside the A room. And I see a, a, a skinny dude, kind of cut up with a with a bell kango on, with his back turned, and a wife beater in between the speakers, listening to the music. And it's LL. I looked at Funk. I was like, man, we made it. <laughs> <laughs> but ironically, they were mixing. Shout out to Frank Heller, who's an um, engineer. They were mixing. Mama said, knock you out. Wow. That nice. was the first. I didn't. It wasn't even out yet. Yeah. So I was witness. I didn't even realize we was witnessing. We was becoming part of history yeah. and witnessing history at the same time. Yeah, crazy. And man. I and I had an opportunity to sit with Molly, have Molly here on Backspin, and Molly was telling me how that one album turned his life around 360 degrees, like how he became he came on to everybody's radar. Mm -hmm. After yeah. that, what was the one for you, Pete, that you would say made everybody stand up and say, "We need Pete Rock"? Because for a while it was like Pete Rock, Pete Rock, Pete Rock. Pete it Rock. was it was it started really with the remixes, man. Yeah, the remix because I, I came out trying to make a name for myself remixing. Uh, you know, remixes don't count. You still get paid, but you, you don't get paid like you know um, royalties. Right. So I, I just you know. I didn't know that you don't get paid on royalties for remixes nah, back no, no, then. No. 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 Nope. Wow. Yep. And then I think when the main ingredient dropped is when people was like, you know what, Pete Rock is official. Right. 
back in the Soul Brother too, but but that one right there, right? I think people, a lot of people, gravitated to the main ingredient. For sure. I, I mean, I hear the, the, the talks and the battles and the arguments about which album is better than which. And uh -huh. A lot more people lean on the main ingredient. Really excited about like it seems to be this resurgence of our generation like I it's feel, like now you feel it, I feel yeah, it. I feel do you feel, feel it? it yeah i feel I, it I feel i'm feel on it. the road a lot I, so I, feel I, it. I hear a lot of people talking you know what i'm saying why do you think that music is music is changing the golden it. era because they know how important it was it was something original we we came from the ground up that's why yeah man yeah we built this thing like we built the music yeah right we yeah. really built it from the bottom up the only thing i don't understand is that you know, um, Laws in the Underground, we travel a lot and go abroad to Europe and, you know, countries, different countries in Europe. And everybody in America praises the golden era of hip hop. Like, that is the premiere. Let everybody tell it, you know, all of the hip hop ideologists and theorists. <laughs> you know, the golden era is the hip hop, you know, is this the great. It's the Bible. It's the Bible. Yeah, but basically. America does not support the golden era in its entirety, you know, for the most part, I say, you know, like, don't get me wrong, you got, you got Red still on the road, you got Nas still on road, Meth, you know, Pete and still doing, you know, Primo, D Primo. Hey, hey. you know, all that's great, but I'm talking about, like, where are the consistent shows like they're doing with a lot of the late 80s artists, and right. you'll get Big Daddy Kane, Dougie Fresh, Salt and Pepper, they'll throw a Naughty by Nature in there, you Slick Rick, Slick, Slick Rick, you and no disrespect to my big brothers and sisters, I love them to death. But where is that saying for the 90s, like Lost mm. Boys, Laws of the Underground, mm. P Rock, CL Smooth, MOP, right. Tribe Call, Tribe Call You know, where the old show Tribe is breaking my heart by not performing together, yeah, too. Man. I just want to say yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. I, <laughs> that's too important. Groups, man. That I is love too all important. three of them dudes, though. Yeah, yeah. me too. Me yeah. too. Word up. All my friends. Yeah, when yeah. Chuck D was just here, he said there was something similar going on with Houdini. Mm. And, you know, Chuck is like Chuck is like the Yoda, yo. Yeah. <laughs> when yeah. Chuck calls, you go. You go. Yeah, no and Chuck had to sit them dudes down and he said he did the same thing with Run DMC when Run and DMC was going through their little yeah, problems yeah. and he said listen you guys don't want to look back on this when you're 80 years old and realize that you fucked it up yeah that's right you know what I mean yeah. and that's why you know Run DMC is going to be performing at, at um, the Barclays Center mm -hmm. LL is going to mm -hmm. be performing Dope. together on the 19th yeah, I hope that December works out. here in New yeah, York I'm and they trying to and Pete was telling me they talking about Pete Rock and CL Smooth yeah. jumping Ooh. on that stage too yeah, yeah, I would love for Lords yeah, of the Underground I'm, I'm, to get I'm on that <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what? I've been really, for the last couple of years, man, in my sights, and I just sat down, actually, and talked with my man Charlie Stetler mm -hmm. again today, mm -hmm. and I just really want to put together this Yo! TV Raps tour, man. That's right. I that just want, you know what I mean? That would be beautiful. Who, yeah. who wouldn't would sponsor beautiful. that, man? Come on. That would A be... Ed Lover Yo! TV Raps oh, tour? Lord, come A on, tour. Man. Come on, man. Oh, come on, man. A tour, and do the revolving stage. That would be nuts. With oh, the like set in, on one like side, Westbury. and then, yeah, like Westbury, and then turn that stage around Man. and every artist come out and rock yep. you know what i mean but some of the artists you got to talk to because some want to do the <laughs> new shit you're yeah. like nah, yeah, 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 nah yeah, yeah, just yeah, do yeah. the hits and get the well, fuck uh, out of yeah. here <laughs> let me get one version of my new yeah. shit yeah, 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 nah, yeah. No, no new shit just do the stuff that was on your own tv right. rights period right. well, and, yeah. and let everybody really get a grasp of what this golden era of hip hop is really all about. I was man. actually just watching that freestyle with me and see how I went on your TV. Wow. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah. Was I was fun. watching the um, performance I have yeah. doing You Can't See What I Can yeah, See so on your wow. TV. Rides. That's on YouTube too. Wow. I, was, I had a ball, but I'm permanently bald now. But I, <laughs> I purposely cut right, my head right, in. Right, right. You know what uh, I mean? And so it's just like that. You, you guys are absolutely right. Like you, the golden era of hip hop took what. Flash and Salt and Pepper and all of them that's had right. laid down before us yeah. and built on it yes, and right. made it better. Yes, yes, yes. And it, and it increased it mm -hmm. and increased the awareness for all the kids that grew up in there. And now all of those kids are the ones that's making the decisions. Now. Believe me, yeah. without without Flash and everybody <laughs> before us doing the work that they did, we wouldn't have been able to do what we did. That's right. So real, man. Absolutely. And, and the ones that are behind so us wouldn't be able to be making all the money they make. That's, right. That's right. If we hadn't laid down that foundation yep. for big them. Shout out to cool Herc too, yeah. man. Big man. shout, shout out, out to Cool Herc. Cool Herc. Shout out to DJ Hollywood. DJ Hollywood. Wow. Who, I saw who absolutely belongs in that 
Yep. You know, that three, it yep. should be four. Yep. Yeah. It's Hollywood, Herc, Flash, and Bam yes. Bottom. And Bam exactly. Bottom. Yeah. Hollywood belongs there, man. Shout Ain't no getting enough props. Hollywood, Hollywood, Hollywood um, introduced hip hop to New York. Yes, he did. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Yes, he did, because he was the first. DJ, yeah. mm -hmm. right? That was actually on that mic. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yep. And all of that, all of that woo ha got them all the check. That, That's that all Hollywood, Hollywood shit. Mm. All of it. He's incredibly got a book out too. Cause y'all, y'all, y'all had a y'all were a great one two punch. Yeah, man. Yeah, they were good. Yeah. Did you know that from the gate that y'all complimented each other vocally? No, I, I didn't. I didn't realize it until um, we started recording some joints at the house of hit with Molly, and we started to hear what he hit. Well, he heard, you know, and right. you know, Molly just had a great ear. Man. Oh my god, yeah, and amazing. we didn't know Funk had the little, you know, mm. you know, what I mean? yeah. and I was right there with him with the energy yep. and the, and the, and the video, visual, and the, yep. you know, so it just complimented people so much. And I didn't realize this until we started to do a solo album and we had all these slow beats, and we was like, Yeah, you know, we love <laughs> the underground. And right. the fans was like, Come on, man, it was where that energy <laughs> at, man, give right. me that dance beat. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, so I we started to realize, oh, okay, laws of the underground, people rock with us because it's that energy. Yeah, right. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. Right. Definitely had that. Chief Rock used to make me break my Chief fucking Rock neck. Oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just the, the intro, when what? you throw it on at a party, man. Right. That changed my boom, our lives, boom, man. Boom, boom. Yeah, boom, man, that changed boom, our lives. Boom, yeah, exactly. Well, that exactly. Baseline. That baseline man. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Real, man. And Pete, you with some incredible. Where the fuck did you find that music for Shut 'Em Down? Oh, that's uh, Isley Brothers. That's, that's Isley Brothers. I mean, the baseline is. How about Reminisce? Reminisce mm. is <laughs> Tom Scott. Where you find these records at, Pete? It's called records, Digging, baby. In the mom, pop record store. <laughs> no, but it's not just digging. And, and let me get they reminisce over in you. people's collections. You no, know what? It's not. It's records. not just the record. It's how how you do it. It's how you flip it. Hook the shit up yes. and flip yes. the record. Hey, Filter hey. the bass line. You know what I mean, threw the horns on it, saved it on the disc. You know, um, then whatever more sounds I wanted, I would just erase what I saved already and then put. Put so, more in there. Now, when you was Leave doing it, what were you in. what were you doing it on, Pete? The SP. SP. Okay. S nine hundred. How many? You were twenty four track all yeah. the time. Yeah. Now, isn't it incredible that the most incredible shit Molly Mall ever did is on four it's fucking four tracks. tracks? Four tracks. That's four it. tracks. That's four it. tracks. That, that, four I mean, tracks. we got signed to a major label off of four track music. Wow. Yeah. Me and CL. Why? Wow. Where you find CL at? Um, high school. We went to high school together. Okay, so he was always rhyming? Yeah, his family's from Queens, from Hollis. Okay. You know what I mean? And um, he migrated up the head to New Rochelle and into Mount Vernon. And then right. that's how we went. He went to Mount Vernon High, and that's how we so went. So you always, it was always going to be Pete Rockers. Nah, it was, I, I was with a couple of other dudes from the hood first, trying to, mm. you know, get something started. And uh -huh. then I met him through a friend of mine, and I liked his voice as soon as I heard it. I was like, right. man, that dude sound ill. Like, right. And then, I, you know, once we got him on, on, on a beat, and you heard how he sounded. Right. It was like, wow. Forget these other dudes. So we just made, <laughs> created like 50 songs, B. Wow. Yeah, and he, got signed off that. Ruben yeah. and all them cats was a Whatever happened to the YGs? Yeah, they, 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 they. Shout out to the YGs. Back then, back the then, back then yeah. they, they had something going, you know, but, yeah. um, Somehow the deal fell through and didn't go through, but you know. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It happens yeah. sometimes. YGs. Yes, sir. I got uh, Pete Rock. Da, 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 da. Da, I bet you know what that sample is, don't you, Pete? Yes. What is it? It's the Soul Searchers Ashley's Roach Clips. <laughs> See, yo, I fucking hate Pete you know Rock. That, yo. I, mean, I hate Pete Rock. Ashley's Roach Clips. I hate yeah, Pete Rock that's, for that's that. That's a basic. Son. That ain't nothing. I can't you know yeah, stand Pete Rock, Rock for that. Basic break beat, man. You know what I want to know? Who is Ashley? Like, who inspired uh, that? Uh, like, who is uh, Ashley uh, that had the Roach Clips? Right. Inspired that? Yeah. Who is Ashley? You know what the Roach Clips? Yeah, absolutely. Know what the Roach Clips? Exactly. Hey, while we on the subject of people that made huge contributions to hip hop in general. Big shout out to James Brown's family. Oh my gosh, oh my man. God. Yeah, I had a chance to um, go down there and, um, South, to South Carolina to meet them. But I had that show, I had a show to do, so I, we didn't ever um, you know, get to have that meeting. But I met James when I was seven years old. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. I did a week work for you on TV Raps with James Brown, baby. <laughs> yo, ah, man, yo, I had a, a James week. Brown story too, man. <laughs> Give me a James Brown story. Here come the laws, the joint Pete Rock you like. Yeah. Um, here come the laws 
We used uh, K Def produced with Marley Moore yep. and it had some James Brown. We had, we yep. used a lot of James Brown in our, our records, mm -hmm. man. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> we we trying to get the sample clear. And James lawyer called the office. And uh, we just happened to do press day and all that this day. So I go into legal and they're like, do it all. We need you right now. If we're going to clear this record, if it's going to make the album. I get on the phone. I'm, I'm talking to his lawyer. His lawyer says, hold on. He put James, James on Brown gets on the phone. Hey, do it all. <laughs> Yo, I'm looking at the phone. I got to be 19. Right, you I'm tripping. looking at the phone like thinking they playing. I'm thinking they joking wow. or something. He's like, what, what do you mean about this wreck the town? Cause you know in that song I was like get oh, up and down and wreck the whole town like James yeah. Brown, ha. Oh, you said that in the rap. <laughs> yeah, and he was like, what you mean? You trying to be funny about my incident? Uh oh, oh. He <laughs> Remember when he was going, with oh yeah. yeah. He was like, you trying to be funny? I'm like, no, nah, wreck means that nobody can do it better than you. you and you, yeah. you're the great. He yeah. was like, oh, ha. oh, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> He didn't say bye, he didn't say none. He was like, all I heard him in the back, like, yo, that, that's cool, that's, cool. that's okay. Yeah, wow. to the Lord. Yeah. That's how that record got clear. That's wow. crazy. That's crazy. Wow. <laughs> when we, when we had him on your TV raps, he, no, no. he walked up to me and said, You ain't love it. I said, Yeah. <laughs> I, said, I, was, yeah. I said, Mr. Brown, yes, I am. So, where, where's Jay Brown dressing room at? Because you know, Jane Brown got to change his coat. Then he talk about himself in the third yeah. person, right? No, he said, Jay Brown got to change his coat. I said, okay, Mr. Brown, I had somebody take him over there, and every, like, we had to tell him, like, okay, Mr. Brown, no, we gonna, you can stay in this outfit for the day. Like, we, this is Tuesday's show. Yeah. Because every time we went to commercial, he was ready to he change his clothes. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's how many outfits he had. I was like, no, 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 stay in that. Yeah. All right, and one of the biggest highlights of my life, and even for my moms today, and I always say, Ma, what is, you know, what is your biggest highlight for me in my career on television? She said, when I saw you do the Ed Lover dance and you had James Brown doing it, Word. she said, my boy has arrived. Wow. But this is a dude that she used to go to the Apollo mm -hmm. and stand in the front aisle mm -hmm. to see James Brown do his thing. Wow. Classic. Yeah. Auntie, Classic. right? And yeah, and hip hop would never be what it is if it wasn't for James oh, Brown. Oh, heck no, never, heck man. no, heck no. Hey, when you hear that, when you hear Funky Child and them horns and all that type I saw of stuff, JB. I saw JB's, man. And and he gets 60% of that record. <laughs> 60% of that record is James Sample Brown. Sample Curtis, too, he, he's getting 60%. Yeah, he man. takes 60. Yes, sir. And there's yeah, three sir. members in Laws of Underground. Right. So. <laughs> Y'all gotta split that. And we didn't produce it. So. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jeez, man. So, so, so book the laws and underground. Is crazy. Yeah, please. <laughs> and when you hear when you hear a song that that had that crossover ability, like it takes two to make a thing oh, go yeah, right. Man. That's Lynn Collins, but produced. R.I.P. to uh, DJ Easy Rock. Yeah, yeah. Man. yeah. Oh man. But that's yeah. James Brown. Yeah. It takes two to make a thing yes, go sir. right. It's yes, James sir. Brown. That yep. woo. Yep. Yeah, turn down, down. Yep. That's James Brown, yes. man. That's Lynn hey, Collins. Hey. Produced yeah. by James Brown. A lot of Dr. Dre stuff. Yes. Funky drummers underneath it. Oh, yeah. You Did y'all see the documentary on that they have on HBO running now about James Brown? The Did better you hear? Than the movie. Yeah, better, than the, better movie. than the movie. Better you gotta see it through it all. Yes. Did you see Clyde Stubblefield talk about how he hates funky drummer? Yeah, because they had to. It was three in the morning. James, it was three yeah, in the morning. They just finished performing, and James was like, "Yo, let's we go in the studio now." They thought they was going to the hotel to go to sleep. Right. Yeah. And he said, "Man, I hate that song." He yeah. Said he couldn't stand. So he he couldn't said stand he just started it. messing with the drums and came up with that pattern. Yeah, that I, pattern, yeah. and James said, "That's it." Let it let Clyde play. <laughs> and then he was like, one, two, three, four, hit it. I don't, and hip hop is never, never the same. Never the same. Ever. Because of Clyde Stubblefield and James Brown. I got to I got to um host this seminar with Clyde, man, Mr. Mm. Stubblefield, him and Marley Maul, me and Funky Man. Yeah. It was crazy. Man. His stories, right? Heard, man. His stories. Oh, he he don't like he don't even like it. He don't no. even like the doing. I'm no, like, he, he don't it. like he don't like funky funky drama. He hates it. Nah, man. He hates it. He don't like Cause it. when when the interviewer brought it up, you're like, I don't want to talk about funky drum. Yeah. I hate that oh, song. Man. Like, dude, you gave birth to hip hop yeah, with bro, that are shit. You, are you bugging? Crazy. Crazy, y'all. Hey, oh. I don't really want to talk to Pete Rock, Mr. Dude. I'm about to take your food. Let's you surrender. I don't want to have to capture you. Come out, hands up. This is like a gym pump. Bang, speaker, rattle, drum. Sound like a handgun. Fight it all random. Breath from the bottom lung. Bikes win, run. Yeah, I am Trey Upper. City come explore, don't get it twisted, it's the beast unleashed. I am not police, but I walk on beat. Surrender it all, do it all for keeps. North coast, south coast, west coast, east. Hands up, nigga. <laughs> yeah. Give it up, gimme, give gimme. Give yes, I want that. I bring the energy. DJ. 
DJ, bring it back, bring it all, bring it up. I can help you single out. Call me up, I knock it out. Home run way out. That's the way you do it when you do it. How I do it, make your money get the fluid for the sweat that you're losing. What am I demeanor? But that's what happens when I'm feeling you. Thinking different, let me know that you were feeling. You now been surrounded, got a bounty on your bounce and on a solo couple record. But I ain't really counting. Okay, a couple million. The flow's still resilient. Like wine in the crackers, it's a blessing. Communion. This is chicken soup. Food for the soul food. At least it right now. Never talk, Pete had to show you. He had to show you. <laughs> Word, I man. told you. Yeah. He had to show you uh, how he owns you. Yeah. Old school players and new school fools. And you can call them with the ring to the groove. Hey. Hey. Me, Rock, and Lover, and you and all like bouncing the ball. All the while, I ain't no drama. I ain't no mama. Don't joke me, because I ain't Derek Garner. Uh, I keep the fifth on my waist. Might blow you in your face, motherfucker. Go, come on, when he get up here and come on, son. Yo, stop stealing his come on, son. It's your boy, Do It All from Laws of the Underground, right here on Backspin. <laughs>